Welcome back to the Jim Green Footwear channel. Today, we've got a pair of boots in front of us that may look very familiar to most of you. And that's because this pair of boots belongs to Nick the Chuda, which a few episodes ago, we did an episode with him with our camera team, where we spent a day with him and his 14 year old pair of Razorbacks as we explored Addo Elephant National Park. We'll put a link to that video somewhere in this video for those of you that haven't seen it yet. As a thanks to Nick for an insight into the day in the life of his 14 year old pair of Razorbacks, we decided to get his boots back out to the factory and give them a resole to give them some new life. One of the first things that we noticed with that is that they were manufactured in the early 2000s. And something that we thought would be nice to share with you guys is how our best selling boot has changed over the last 30 years. So our Razorback has been in the range since day one. So this style has stood the test of time. And over the years, there have been a few subtle changes, which we're gonna point out to you now. So a bit of a spoiler alert is that over the last 30 years, there has only been two changes to the way we make our Razorback boot. One of the most noticeable differences is in the way that we brand our Razorback boot. So 20 years ago, it was pretty plain and simple, and we, used, and we used to just simply emboss the Razorback logo onto the tongue of the boot with the rest of the boot left pretty much plain. Over the years, the Razorback boot has evolved to have a lot more bolder and colorful branding. So here you can see, we've gone for our logo on the tongue, a Jim Green Sidewinder, and our Razorback embossing on the quarter. Another thing to note is that our Razorback embossing has also had a subtle change most recently in the last five years. So here you can see on the most recent boot, it's a lot more crisper and cleaner. Whereas on the older boots, you can see here that the Razorback embossing isn't, isn't quite as crisp and clear as what we have today. So let's move on to the Razorback of today. And here you can see we have gone for a genuine calfskin lining while sticking with our traditional Jim Green yellow. Now, most companies, when the boot becomes very popular, they start to take shortcuts to save on costs. And one of those shortcuts that can be taken is to reduce the amount of leather lining in the boot. So here at Jim Green, we don't want to take any shortcuts and we still today manufacture our Razorback with a full leather lining and we have added the leather collar to make this one of the best boots on the market. So looking back on these two changes that we have discussed, for me, it was a no brainer to move from a synthetic collar to a leather collar. Now, as for the branding and how the boots look, please can you guys below in the comment section, let us know if you are old school Razorback or new school Razorback. So let's get these boots down into the factory. Let's see what damage has been done to them over the last 14 years of wear. And hopefully we can add another few more years onto their lifespan. 